This is a Russian folk accordion called a bayan. Since I made this video, I've discovered that this is not a bayan, but a garmoshka, also known as a garmin. So when I say bayan, I mean garmin. My brother bought this for me in the early 90s when he lived in St. Petersburg, Russia, during a time of great political upheaval. It's got 25 keys on this side. It's got all these other buttons over here, which I don't really use because I don't really know what I'm doing here. And it's really hard to reach these, but I really like the tone of this thing. I'll use it on recording sometimes. The only problem is it only plays in the key of A major on this side. And I wanted to use it on this Tokyo teen song called Tears. So I recorded it in the wrong key. And then I warped it in Ableton to a complex pro mode and pitched it up three semitones. Now, while these accordions aren't rare outside of the United States, I actually couldn't find any online that looked just like this one. So I took a picture of the logo and did a reverse image search on Google. And I could only find a handful of listings with this same brand and model. And then I found this guy. He's got a lot of videos of him playing different accordions. I'll leave a link in the description. I couldn't find any more information about it, but I did find the sticker on the back here. And then I remembered, I still have the original case for this thing. That is where my brother wrote my nickname, Billy Bob, in Russian. I haven't looked in this case in years and had forgotten that there was some stuff in here. I'm guessing some of this is warranty information and maintenance instructions. My brother said some of this is a place to keep records of repairs and addresses for places where it could be repaired if needed. Hmm. I don't know what this is, nor do I know what this is, but if you look closely, you can see where you could write in the date, 1980 something. And there was also this sticker inside the case. This is a postcard that my brother sent along with the accordion. And in it, he says that he was walking by a music store and the owner was inside actually playing this accordion. And a voice said to him, Billy should have this for his studio. You know, I never did any kind of research into this accordion in all these years. and. What's funny is that I've spent my whole life, my whole career with the goal of just being unique, using different types of microphones and odd instruments and different recording techniques. And yet, without me even trying, this one Bayan accordion that my brother happened to find in St. Petersburg, Russia, just randomly wandering by a music store and buying it, happens to be somewhat rare. And the one place I could find any video of somebody actually playing this accordion online has this guy playing in front of what looks like a World War II era motorcycle with a sidecar. Now that is unique. If anyone knows anything else about this, please let me know. In the meantime, I gotta get back to work making music. You have a good day and always be unique.